I couldn't find any other course like this who would offer uh, like oh. the fee of the course was very low. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to the My Life School channel. So I welcome you all to the episode 12 of uh, the interview experience series. So today we have with us the IIT VHU alumni Kriti. Uh, she got placed in HBS, HSBC as a data analyst and she will be joining in the uh, very soon in the company. So today we're going to interview her and we're going to learn from her about her placement journey and uh, about her journey. So hello Kriti, uh, welcome to this uh, interview call. So can you uh, just briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, so my name is Kriti Ajay Garg and I'm a fresh graduate of IIT BHU. I graduated uh, this year itself. And during my placement process, I uh, got placed in HSBC Bank. And for that, I uh, took uh, the course of my analytics school. And I will be joining uh, in July. Yeah. OK. okay. All right. Uh, so I'm start, I will start with the questions then. So the first question, uh, like the audience wants to know, is like, what's the recruitment process uh, like uh, for this company, and uh, what advice would you give to candidates who are preparing for it? Okay, so the, the recruitment process first of all started with the aptitude test. There was an aptitude test. Uh, then after that, during the uh, interview process, like. Uh, from 1st December to 5th December, that is there uh, in our college. So that time they took the group discussion. And on the basis of the group discussion, they shortlisted candidates once again. And those candidates were made to sit for the interview. There was one round of technical interview. And after that, one round of HR, after which candidates were finalized. OK. Uh, so the next question will be, uh, so you said you had one tech interview, right? So what technical yeah. languages are important for this role and how can candidate demonstrate it? Uh, so uh, during my interview, a lot of questions were asked on SQL. I, uh, I feel that SQL and Python are very important languages during the interview process. You should have good command over them. So SQL, I think you should read articles about that and keep solving questions and uh, Python also. And for the projects which you have mentioned on your resume, you should be very clear about that, that uh, what you have done, why you have done it. And uh, apart from this, I think uh, for the job, as far as I know, as far as I have interacted with the company, uh, some other tools like uh, SAS and uh, uh, Power BI will also be important. So you should also learn the interactive business tools like Power BI. Okay, so they are a uh, plus to have in your resume. Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, talking about the resume, so what suggestions you have for the resume and uh, like what section of the resume was more valued in the both of the interviews in the tech also and in the HR also? Mm -hmm. So projects are definitely the most uh, valued section in the interview. So okay. you should be very thorough and clear with your projects. And uh, I would recommend that uh, you don't mention very high five projects, which you will not be able to answer. So the projects uh, that you mentioned should be according to your uh, level of aptitude, what you have genuinely done and what you will be able to answer. However, they should still include these impo uh, important tools like Python and SQL. I recommend that you should do some project on uh, uh, Python, but according to your knowledge. If you have previously done machine learning projects, then you can take some complicated projects. Otherwise, you should go for the easier ones. Okay. And what about the HR part? Like in the uh, HR? The HR part in my interview, I was asked about the projects. 
basically what i could uh, judge was that uh, they just wanted to check whether i have genuinely done those projects or not and they asked me what were the key takeaways from those projects what i have learned from those projects so that you should know and it should not appear as if you have memorized something or, or like that So uh, let's say if you want to get an upper hand from the, your other candidate, so what uh, a candidate can prioritize or do differently in the interview or in the whole process? Uh, for this interview, I think I felt that confident matter. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, confidence mattered a lot. So uh, as I said, the process started with a group discussion, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, our performance in the group discussion also mattered a lot, as per me. uh like for example in my case uh, i did quite well in my group discussion so i was informed about that in my interview uh, the interviewers were had a very positive outlook because of that they told me that uh, yes you did very well in your group discussion so the interview started at a very positive note so uh, so one tip i have is that uh, you should work very well on your group discussions and you should be very confident okay so confidence is the key is the key yeah cool so uh, see when uh, when a candidate go through all these uh, processes gd round hr round so there are you know very general mistakes which candidates may may uh, do so do you remember like interacting with any of the person who got rejected in the interview and any reasons why what mistakes were there exactly what mistakes they made actually do you remember and... one such experience so there was someone who uh, get uh, got rejected in the interview uh, i felt uh, like as i said before as far as i could interact with them i think it was because they mentioned a very uh complicated project in the resume and uh, when they were asked technical questions on it they couldn't answer in detail okay so i would say and i think you should avoid projects so uh, very high end projects on ai etc if you don't have knowledge of it okay so you want to say whatever is written in your resume you should go it go thoroughly through it and you should thoroughly. okay anything can be asked okay so uh, you're like pushing a lot from uh, on the technical end so uh, let's say if i have to prepare for the technical uh, round so what uh, strategies a candidate can use for revising the like let's say if i have written a project i have uh, written two algorithms there so is it possible ki uh, the interviewer start asking from other algorithms too uh it might be possible i think but as a data analyst uh, like uh, i think uh, they may not ask you uh, outside of your resume it's very less probable if you don't know about it you can just say that uh, i am not aware of it right now but i will read about it and uh, like what about the resources which a candidate uh, which what resources will you recommend for the candidate for preparing for the interview in this field for my preparation i use uh, uh, used the uh, sources uh, provided by mas only they were very good so some of those resources were uh, uh, videos by uh, krishnayak sir so they were really good videos they were very easy to understand and i think there were a few articles by a uh, few articles by analytics vidya so they were also very good so these are the main resources that i used and they were very easy to understand okay cool so i guess uh, we have covered a lot from the interview process so i would like to know a bit about like uh, my analytics school so how did you uh, came to know about ms and why did you choose it and what was your experience like Uh, so, uh, how i came to know about ms so i came to know about ms through whatsapp i uh, got their message uh, through whatsapp and when i re registered i was contacted by them why i chose ms was that i was very familiar with them uh, like uh, before during my internship time i had attempted 
MAS tests. And so I was very familiar with them and I couldn't find any other course like this who would offer, uh, like who would give so much in only for uh, such less. Like okay. the fee of the course was very low. Okay. 